Feelings of nostalgia and feelings of hope came together at Camp Roberts as the multi-million dollar modernization project started with the demolition of the first in a series of World War II era barracks slated for demolition. Well, what's appearing behind me is the actual demolition of over 450 World War II military barracks that uh, needed to come down because they were uninhabitable. Uh, the California National Guard is finally beginning the process to remove the World War II wood structure at Camp Roberts to make way for new and better uh, in facility infrastructures to help our soldiers and airmen, Marines and sailors that come through for training every year. Camp Roberts officially began its mission as a training center in March of 1941. Currently, it provides soldier skills for more than 200,000 soldier man days each year. When I became the Adjutant General, I knew that a top priority for us would be to make Camp Roberts a better place. We had to begin with demolishing the buildings because it was such a long struggle to get the funding, to get the permitting, and because of all the hard work our soldiers and civilians had put into making this project become a reality, I wanted to do a big ceremony to commemorate the new phase that we're about to enter. We've always had a vision of making this installation the premier training base for National Guard soldiers from around the country. It was great. It was uh, very exciting, it was exhilarating, it was especially important because it's symbolic of how we're continuing to move the National Guard forward. From Camp Roberts, for the California National Guard, this is Master Sergeant David Leffler.